I thought I would be safe. Very unrealistic, very unfair. This is not what we want. This is not right. They're screwed. We sit down with seniors who were just told they will not be able to keep their doctors or their health care plans. You'll hear from them and the doctors they used to see about what went wrong here. Plus, what is going on with the president's repeated promise? If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. No one will take it away, no matter what. Wait till you see what the White House is saying now. And it only makes sense. If Congress passes a law for all Americans, why wouldn't that apply to Congress, too? Tonight, Senator Rand Paul's lonely fight to make that a reality. And breaking tonight, Fox News has just confirmed that while the president was promising you could keep your health care plan, the White House has known for almost three years, if not more, that that promise would not hold for millions of Americans. And we have evidence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Megyn Kelly. Americans heard this president say it over and over. If you like your doctor, if you like your plan, you can keep them under Obamacare. But many had doubts. One major concern, that those buying insurance on the individual market, people who don't have employer coverage, would see their plans canceled. Why? Because those plans tend to be cheap, with less benefits. And Obamacare requires insurers to beef up their coverage. That costs money. The fear was that insurance, insurers that are forced to offer more benefits would also raise rates or maybe dump the policies altogether. And that's exactly what is happening. Contrary to the president's explicit promises. Listen. Actually, any insurance that you currently have would be grandfathered in so you could keep. Um, and so you could decide not to get in the exchange the better plan. I, I could keep my ACME insurance. Uh, just a high deductible, catastrophic plan. Uh, I would not be required to get the better one. But that's not, that's not what's happening at all. Exactly what he said would not happen is happening. You are required to get rid of your acne, ac acne plan, and you are required to buy one on the exchange, and it is costing Americans more. So far, nearly a million policies have been canceled. Over 10 million more could end very soon. We're talking maybe 14 million. And with the American people now demanding answers, you can keep your plan, period, today turned into maybe, for most, for the majority. Well, some can, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here is former White House senior advisor David Axelrod earlier, and then some follow-up from our own Ed Henry. Most people are going to keep their own plan, Senator, and you know that. The majority of people in this country, the vast majority of people in this country are keeping their plan. This morning, David Axelrod was pressed on that point and said the majority, the vast majority, will get to keep their plans. Uh, he no longer works at the White House. From that podium, will you admit that when the president said, if you have a plan, you'll get to keep it, that that was not true? Well, let's just let's be clear. What, what the president said and what everybody said all along is that there are going to be changes brought about by the Affordable Care Act that create minimum standards of coverage. Right. And then he also said that if you like your plan, you could keep it, period. And tonight we have dug up an IRS form from 2010 that shows that this administration knew that over 10 million Americans would not keep their plan, could not keep their doctor, and yet the president went out as recently as 2012 and said, if you like your plan, you could keep it. Meantime, there is a regulation, an IRS regulation that was pushed by HHS, Human Her Services, that said, estimated, that tens of millions were going to get dumped. Mark Thiessen is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. And I mean, this is, this is it. it. It is one thing to say, we think you're going to, he said they were going get to get to keep their plans, period. And now this regulation mm -hmm. shows that, it, that months after Obamacare was passed, July, it passed in March, July, uh, or before, I should say, before, they, 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 they knew. They were estimating internally in, in the administration, tens of, tens, 10 million people are going to lose their yep. insurance. You've got the smoking gun right there in your hand. Look, they knew. When President Obama looked the American people in the eye and said, if you like your health insurance, you can keep your current plan, period, no matter what, that was a bald-faced lie. And he, he intended, in fact, is I think that they intended for these people to lose their health insurance. And the reason for that is, I mean, and as you pointed out, it's going to be up to 14 million people. Why would they want those people to lose their health insurance? Because they need those people to move into the exchanges to subsidize the poor people. 
See, it, the individual mandate is the most lucrative part. I mean, uh, the, I'm sorry, the individual market is the most lucrative part of the segment of the health insurance industry because those people don't use a lot of services and they're generally healthy. And so those are the people that they need to move into the into the exchanges in order to subsidize Obamacare. Mm -hmm. So while President Obama was going out there saying, you won't lose your health insurance, period, all along, they were planning for those people to lose their health insurance, 14 million of them, and move into the exchanges. So the president, as we watch this healthcare.gov website falling apart, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to worry. Because even though the young people aren't get, signing up right now, because the website yep. is a mess, he knows that they're being canceled that yeah. millions of Americans are being canceled and will have no choice but to sit on that website for yeah. hours and days on end eventually because he knows, as we all know now, that millions of Americans are yeah. going to get canceled. But, that, but there's the rub. They didn't anticipate the failure of the website. And so what the problem is, is now, if you're one of, these pe one of these 14 million or so people who are losing their current health insurance, you're stuck with two options. One is to pay these, these exorbitant new premiums that you can't afford because they're raising your, your insurance rates between 99 and 400 percent, or go into the exchanges, except because the website doesn't work, you can't get into the exchanges. And so what's, hap what's going to happen is, what the un unanticipated consequence of this is, is they're pushing all these millions of people out of their health care that they liked into Obamacare, except the people can't get into Obamacare. So on January 1, you're going to have millions, potentially millions of people who once had health care and no longer had it because of Obamacare. Mm -hmm. you, in that, in that soundbite we played, you had uh, Senator John Kyle specifically asking the president, what about the individual insurance market? Yeah. Well, what about people who have pl their plans there? You're, you're, you're raising the requirements. That's going to cost more people to get canceled. And there you heard the president specifically speak to this issue saying, it's not true. You can keep your ACME plan yeah. if you like your ACME plan. That is not true. Mark, thank you. Thank you, Megan. We have much more on this, uh, including this. In a Kelly File exclusive, we got a chance to sit down today with a few people from a growing group of Americans now losing their plans and their doctors. Well, we don't know all of the reasons yet. We know that these patients and their physicians believe it is due to Obamacare, and they're not happy. I don't want to change the doctor. I don't want to go to another office. I, will, I like my doctor. I'm happy. So many years I come here to this office. We got a letter in the mail, uh, a very cold letter. All of a sudden you get a letter in the mail, <laughs> you know, stating that the doctor is no longer in the plan. They don't give you any reason why. With your specialist, you'll have to find somebody different too. So there's a phone number in here, this letter, that I can also call. And I'm saying, gee, what am I doing? Shopping for groceries or what? This is a serious situation here. It's a health problem. This was not supposed to happen. They were supposed to be able to keep their coverage, keep their doctor, who they've had relationships, some for 10, some for 20 years, and the rug has been pulled out of these people. It makes you feel that a lot um, is not being told to people about the Affordable Care Act and what it really involves and what it entails and how it's going to affect your life. Government does not control people. We're human beings. They can run the White House, but they can't tell us what to do because what is in this letter is like they're telling you what to do. And I resent that. To start over again, it, 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 doesn't, make it, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. This is not what we want. This is not right that the government is telling, dictating to me what I have to take. I thought I would be safe. I thought I would have insurance going forward. Now I see it's a, it's a different ball game. Particularly for seniors who need medical care the most, and they probably see their doctor more often in a month than most middle-aged or young people do throughout the year. Um, it's not fair to shake up their world in this way. You really need a doctor who understands, who has a heart. So, you know, they're like they don't care for the old people. They let, they let them go, they let them die. We all have to die someday, we know that. But not when they say it. What we have is a bunch of 85-year-old people who are very confused and very angry. And who's listening? I hope somebody. Joining me now, Matt Bennett, former Clinton White House Deputy Assistant and co-founder of Third Way, and Chris Plant, radio talk show host and host of The Chris Plant Show on WMAL. Chris, your thoughts? 
Well, uh, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but I think this is what Republicans have been raising red flags about for three years now. And uh, honestly, this is one of the greatest bait and switch scams that America has ever seen, maybe any country has ever seen. If this were a private business or an industry that promised you can keep your doctor, you can keep your health insurance, it's going to save you $2,500 a year, and then you bought it and you found out that none of this would tr was true, people would be going to jail over this. I mean, look, right. the, the, the Republicans have been the bad do. guys. This, that's ridiculous. Ahead, this has nothing to do with the ACA, and, and you said it at the top of this tape piece. <laughs> this is Medicare. These people Advantage. have lost the, uh, Medicare Advantage. Advantage. These, these people have had changes to their Medicare Advantage, which is administered by private insurers. This is one of the government taking away their doctors. This were people who every year this happens. Medicare Advantage changes, various insurers well, change changed, the way It their changed things to Obamacare because they reduced the payments under Medicare Advantage. Well, yes, that's right. But the, those kinds of payments to Medicare Advantage change all the time. It is just a coincidence that is happening at the same time as the rollout of the ACA. And uh, people in the media are conflating these things, but they are not related. Well, it's not just the people in the media. I mean, wow. the, the doctor and the patients believe that is, this is directly related to the cuts that were made to a Medicare Advantage, Chris. But the well, that, I mean, that's, look, that, that's an extraordinary fallback position for the Democrats, but it's laughable on its face, okay? Everybody's getting their notices in the mail. It's like you're sitting around waiting for your draft notice to find out, you know, based on your lottery number. I got my letter last week, all right? I, I went, I self-insure. Uh, when uh, Obamacare passed, I was paying 321 a month. I'm now, as of last week, and it's been going up, as of last week, 537 a, a month for myself and, and uh, the woman with whom I live in sin also self-insures. Our health insurance payments are now more than our mortgage payments. And the reality right. is, these guys knew that it was programmed to do this all along. It's been a That's scam ridiculous. all along. And Matt, some that of is us ridiculous. have been. Matt, there is a regulation that we are looking at now. It's Internal Revenue Bulletin, and it says right here uh, that this is July of 2010, when the administration had this July of 2010, Obamacare was passed March of 2010, where they right. specifically estimate that over 70% of the individual insurance market could be right. uh, could have their plans canceled because, because of Obamacare. And there's a very good reason for that. First of all, the president was talking about the people who had insurance on the individual market in March of 2010, and by the way, those those are all grandfathered it's about half of the individual market the reason but they're anticipating that, that in this that the grandfathering won't work that it will that it will not cover over 70 percent of those in the market because the way the individual market works is that insurers cannot under the hipaa law raise premiums unless they cancel people so every single year insurers cancel people and then they sign them up but again you're making because my they need point, to raise their which premiums. is that it was foreseeable right. it was foreseeable right. they, they saw it coming as they were telling everybody they could keep the, keep the plan and keep the doctor. I mean, that's well, the problem for them. They shouldn't have said that. Not only was it foreseeable, it's programmatic, all right? It's built into the legislation. It's by design. It, it was knowing. Uh, it was deliberate. I don't know how many different ways to say it. Well, we're going to talk about this. They knew this all along. It's, it's, you know, Nancy Pelosi famously said, we're going to have to pass this uh, a piece of legislation to find out what's in it. And we're finding out. Well, we out. passed it, and, and now we're finding out what's in it. How I do you like it, it America? That. I got to leave it well, at that. Well, what you we're guys, finding? we'll have you back, Matt. Thank you. I appreciate right. being here. Thank Chris you very too. much, Mike.